Studying towards being a CA is difficult. I know I've been there and it is especially more challenging around this time of the year. So I thought I should make today's video to motivate you if you are studying or training towards being a CA on why you should keep at it. Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mpo Makobele. I'm a CA and I generally chat all things business, careers, and sometimes a little bit about life. We're doing exactly that today as I chat especially to those who are studying towards being CAs or even in the training program. I know this time of the year is especially difficult with exams, with year-end audits if you're in audit, and a whole lot of things. So I thought I should make this video to motivate you um, on why you should keep at it if you actually want to be a CA. So here's some of the reasons why being a CA is worth it. Before we continue, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to a hundred subscribers. So please subscribe if you're not subscribed. But anyways, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Here's six reasons why you should be a CA. First reason, I'm gonna get this obvious one out of the way because a lot of you guys are probably thinking this, you will make a lot of money. Well, decent amount of money, you'll be comfortable. CAs earn a lot. I think it's one of those um, few professions where they actually pay you for the potential that you come with. So if you've got the four letters behind your name, a lot of companies are generally willing to pay you a lot of money for three years of experience, which I guess you wouldn't get in a lot of industries. So if you want to be motivated by money, you will definitely be motivated. Unfortunately, I can't necessarily give you numbers here and I would really love to, but I think then I'll get fired. But there's information online, so check Glassdoor, um, pay scale, check Robert Walters, they publish survey results of, uh, of pays and whatnot, so you can check that, or you can also DM me. I'm not gonna give you a straight answer, but try, try DM me. The second one is you become a master of all trades. Yes, you heard right, master. You're trained in four majors, and how I see it is that the CA profession is a training of mind and not so much training in a specific subject. So you become very, very equipped to actually pick on new challenges and learn and actually add value to that. And in a fast-paced, ever-changing environment that we find ourselves in, it is a really great advantage to be not a special one to specialize or know a certain trade, but one that can be trained and can pick up things and run with them quite easily. And what's what's interesting or actually fascinating about the profession is that you pick up things and not so much have to learn to do them, but you can actually pick up a new subject or new industry altogether and be a leader in that industry. My specific career has been in two industries. I was in external audit and then I'm currently now in banking, specifically property finance. Audit in itself actually gave a wide variety of industries that I actually got to work in. I was in financial services, I was in health, um, mining equipment and even telecommunications. So there was a lot of industries that I got exposure to um, and I was able to get the read prior year working papers, learn on the industry and have serious conversations with the client and also add value through the audit process. In property finance, it is a specialization that I, did, I decided, but in all honesty, there's nothing stopping me from pursuing an, in a different industry altogether. So if you wanted to, this qualification allows you to actually do a lot of different things and still add value and even become a leader in that industry altogether. The third reason I wanna mention is that you're training to be a corporate leader. So you're training to be a CEO, a CFO, you're training to be a big person in the corporate world. If you look at the JSE, we are well represented in um, in board compositions. We are well represented in the leaders of, of, of listed companies. So if you're actually thinking you wanna be CEO or CFO, or just be in a board, this is one profession that actually is sort of like your lucky ticket. Reason number four to stay at it is that you will have a lot of international opportunities. Now, I have FOMO here because I didn't take on international opportunities, but as soon as you qualify, you can, you, there's, there's many, many programs that are offering secondment opportunities overseas. I don't know how that's been going because of COVID, but I have friends who left um, South Africa in 2017 when we qualified to go to London for three months and they're still not back. They left in 2017 for three months and they're still having a good time working and living overseas. So if you're looking for international exposure, the CASA 
designation the profession is actually very highly regarded um overseas and you would you would have a good chance of actually finding a good job overseas Reason number five, I believe CAs make one of the best entrepreneurs. But think about it, you have someone who's trained in accounting, in tax, audit, financial management. This person can look at risk and mitigate it appropriately. They can take calculated, well-informed decisions. They understand the regulatory environment. So they understand all of the laws to be complied with. They understand all of the things and boxes to be ticked. At the same time, they're trained to be strategic. So in my opinion this is basically a perfect package for someone to actually be in business so if you're looking to be in business you could actually leverage of the learnings of this um, qualification and the network that you could you, you get to build throughout your training program be it working at banks or audit all of that you know the networks that you get to build the learnings and trainings that you've had create this package of one of the best business people that we could ever have and now economy needs a lot of entrepreneurs and then the last point that I want to mention is that as a CA, you get to design your career. All of the things that I've just mentioned, international work opportunities, corporate leaders, um, there's many challenges that we're faced with today that you basically can design how you want your career to go. So you're not necessarily limited to, I studied this and this is the thing that I know, but you can basically be trained and train yourself, upskill and take on any challenge that you wanna tackle and help make our world better for all of us who live in it. I do feel like I'm going back to the generalist point, but it, re it is really such a flex to actually know that you can design your career to be whatever it is that you want it to be. So that's it for today's video. I hope you did find some value in this. It's really very short, I know, but it's just motivation. If you're someone who's studying or training to becoming a CA, it's really worth it on the other side. Yes, there's still year and fatigue. Yes, you're still, you know, questioning what it is that you're doing with your life, but I think you actually have an opportunity to take that qualification, which necessarily isn't a career. You take that qualification and you can build a career of your dreams, a career that you feel like has the impact that you wanted to have for the world and for yourself. You fulfill yourself, but also you can add value to the world um, as a whole. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and subscribe again. Like I said, we need to get to 100 subscribers. It's, it's not a lot, but I need to get there. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much. Um, until next time, bye.